We are gathered here today to celebrate the union of Jared and Melissa in front of friends and family and with the blessings of God above. And all the billions of people in the world, you two miraculously found each other. You have created a relationship and fallen in love. But what is love? Love is caring, love is listening. Love is patient and kind. Love is forgiving, sharing, accepting, being open and honest. Love can be passionate. Love is being close enough to provide support and reassurance but it's also about giving each other space for personal growth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love is learning about one another and growing together. Love is a gift you give each other. Give it every day. Love is your foundation. Jared through my friend Tawny. I lived in LA at the time and I would always come to Hanford on pit stops before I visited my parents. Tawny goes, my friend Melissa's coming to town. Let's all go to dinner, we'll go out, we'll all have a good time, I want to entertain her, you know, so. I go over about six o'clock and I've been sitting waiting for three hours. They finally showed up, I just kind of ignored them. I was kind of irritated and kind of spiteful. And Jared's sitting on their couch with his arms crossed looking at the TV and doesn't even acknowledge that we walk in the door. So, like what an a-hole. She walks over, stands right in front of me on the couch and goes, hi, I'm Melissa. So then I was like, okay, so I stood up and I was like, man, this girl's got sass, I like it. I wasn't looking or searching for anything. And as everyone always said, you'll find it when you least expect it. And so that was my least expected moment. We would go wine tasting with his family quite a bit and with our friends quite a bit. That's a fun place to be. So it's just one of those, we just enjoy tasting wine tastings and going on little trips. There's always stops that we always make in Paso. We, and we always seem to find these nice little small wineries off to the side. Go out, get some crackers, crackers and cheese. Um, and we always tend to lose ourselves in each other on every trip. We're in our own world almost all the time. The proposal opportunity presented itself very easily. Um, we decided to throw a Christmas party, and I needed to go uh, ask Melissa's father for his blessing. So then I drove straight to San Jose, knocked on the door, her dad answered, walked in, talked to her dad. I called both of her brothers and proposed to them to be my brother-in-laws. The proposal happened at our house, at our ugly, Sweater Christmas party. I had no idea. Turned around, next thing I know, I turned back around to look at Jared and he's down on his knees and says, will you marry me? I was like, what the, what? Like, I was just speechless. So I was like, are you serious? Nobody in the room knew, Very, there's maybe five people in the room knew. And then all of a sudden people just started screaming, uh, clapping, my mom's going nuts, everybody's going nuts. And her face just drops. I thought what better way to do it and embarrass her than do it in front of all our closest family and friends. Jared is 
He's just a fun, loving person, and he would do anything for anybody, and he cares about his family, he cares about his friends, and he knows how to read me, so, um, and I know it could be a little difficult to read. He gets, he gets me. He gets me. She just always plays this hard character. She's hard and strong. And once you get those walls down, it's not. She's a super softy. I've seen it. I get it out of her all the time. And I just love it. Her secret caring heart is really what gets me. She's goofy, fun, has a great time. There's, there's, there's no one thing I can narrow down to her that I love most. It's just her, everything about her, everything. Yeah. There you go. Work it. <laughs> A few months in, I knew she was the one. I knew nothing was going to break a spark. And I, I've wanted nothing more to see her turn that corner and come walking down. Friends and family, I would like to welcome you and thank you for coming today to celebrate the marriage of Jared and Melissa. Kristen Schaus, take Jared James Sories to be your lawfully wedded husband. Do you vow to support him through times of trouble and rejoice with him in times of happiness and to treat him with respect, love, and loyalty through all the trials and triumphs of your lives together? and promise to always be faithful as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Jared James Sorries, take Melissa Kristen Schaus to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to build dreams together while allowing Melissa to grow her own dreams and to give Melissa all the love you can give your whole life long? Do you make this commitment in love, faith, and hope, and promise to always be faithful as long as you both shall live? Oh yeah. <laughs> Jared, since the day you cooked me dinner when I was sick and rode it over to my house on your bike, I knew I'd love you forever. You've taught me how to enjoy life in the present with what's right in front of me, to love those in my life more fully, to, me, to be more spontaneous, to not stress the small stuff, and how to relax, kinda. <laughs> Thank you for always sticking up for me, for always making me delicious meals, for having patience with me when I'm having those difficult moments, and for loving and respecting me for who I am. As we embark on this journey together as one, we will have our ups and downs, but I know we will become stronger every day because we have each other. I look forward to a lifetime with you filled with love, excitement, laughter, fancy wine, and someday little babies. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, I've waited for this day for a long time. Today is the day we get to be something more. Husband, wife, hubby, wifey. I knew from the beginning that there is something real and something special. All the times we've had together has led up to this moment. It never fails. No matter where we are, we can just be happy with us. We've made it through some pretty stressful times together. We came out on top and stronger. When I think of you, so many things come to mind. Beautiful, kind, caring, smart, cute, gorgeous, fun, softy. So many things, but it doesn't seem like there's any one word to wrap it all into one. The closest I could get that would do you any justice is incredible. 
I promise to support and encourage you in everything you do, to treat you with kindness and respect, to share my feelings with you even when it might be hard for me to express them. To always be there to laugh with you and lift you up when you're down. To support you during the good and bad Notre Dame football season. <laughs> to listen and value your opinion. To face life challenges together with an open mind and determination. To take care of you when we're old and gray, if you have any gray. <laughs> to love you unconditionally through the good times and bad. And lastly, I promise to continue to sleep in the middle of the bed, off the sheets, and easy to keep my feet warm. I love you. <laughs> Here we start the rest of our lives together. This is our happily ever after. And in this happily ever after, I promise these to you. To say I love you every day, even if you're mad at me and don't want to hear me. To always help you clean the house sometimes. To be the best husband, friend, and someday father that I can be. To get angry in the car at stupid drivers on the road while you tell me to ignore it. To always kiss you goodnight. And most importantly, to love you through all the good, bad, till the end and past it. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jared, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> it is with the greatest of pleasure that I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Jared Sori. the best in me and he's always happy his family you know not everybody has a good quality family and not everybody is raised by a good quality family so it's just the whole encompassing of all of that that I just love about Jared important she's always accepted me for me and I've never had to do anything or change anything to make her love or care about me anymore. So that was a big thing. day as the day you became a couple for life. It's no longer about your separate past, but it's now about your future life together. Embrace, celebrate, and love each other unconditionally. Now I invite you all to raise your glasses in a toast to Jared and Melissa and wish them love, laughter, and happily ever after. Jared, you are a great person, not to mention a fantastic cook and someone I know who will take care of Melissa. Both your willingness to learn, laugh, grow, and drink wine together shows your marriage is already off to a great start. The best advice I have is to love each other always and enjoy the good and bad times. Congratulations. Cheers. It was a pleasure to see Jared change over the last two years. Melissa, you've done great work. We all know it couldn't have been easy. You two are a matched pair and have something truly special. Oh, oh.
It's been a great day. It's going to be an even better night. I guess I should choose words more carefully. I'd like everybody to stand with their glass and toast to Melissa. I want to be here in this way that I am. Obviously, many people point out it wasn't for you. Tone my life down and warm it up to Melissa. I'm Greg, Melissa's father. On behalf of my wife, Gloria, and I, and Jared's parents, Jack and Chris, we extend a very warm welcome to all of you for joining us here today. But I take great comfort in knowing this isn't the first time I've gotten out of a warm seat today with paper in my hand. <laughs> it certainly didn't take long for us to notice that Melissa was really smitten with this young man, Jared. She invited Jared to our home for a family introduction. He was very polite, sociable, just kind of settled in as being part of the family. But truth is, from the day one, he'd been knocking at his son to us. When he stays over, he leaves his clothes all over the place. He stays in bed all day. And he must be clairvoyant, because all our spirits seem to disappear. But after getting to know him better, meaning his great family, and most importantly, finally receiving that background check I ordered, uh, now, I have no doubts that our Melissa has made the right choice. Every father amongst us hopes that their daughter will find a partner that's smart, sensible, reliable, good-looking, considerate, intelligent. Jared, I can't read your writing. What's that say? <laughs> so, Jared, welcome to our family. So, to keep your marriage brimming with love in the loving cup, whenever you're wrong, Admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> a man who gives in when he's wrong is a wise man. A man who gives in when he's right is married. <laughs> so on behalf of Gloria, myself, Jack, and Chris, please join us for a toast to Melissa and Jared's long, happy, and prosperous future together. notes here. Jackson 5, stand up. Stand up. Stand up to Jackson 5. Jared's one of them. Jeff, John, Troy. One day, one day Jared gives us a call. Oh, by the way, I'm bringing me a little Asian with me. We were so excited to meet her, Melissa. She came in, said two words, hi when she came in, and bye when she left. <laughs> Jared and my new daughter, Melissa, your mother and I are so proud of the both of you. May the light of friendship guide your path together. May the laughter of children grace the halls of your home. <laughs> May the joy of living for one another trip a smile on your, on your lips and a twinkle in your eye. Cheers.
and pretend our hearts are used. Thank you, Melody. Are you guys ready? <laughs> All right, audience, count down with me. Ready? Three, two, one. to in life is life like every day and our trips and someday little babies as I can nervously say <laughs> just life like back to our everyday going wine tasting going on trips it's just I'm excited about the everyday looking I'm looking forward after all that is said and done being us and enjoying each other because it's been go 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 and I'm just ready just to be us again and just relax and slow down and enjoy it and then eventually get to our family. Enjoy life and are happily ever after. My life began the day you said I do Before we met I was so far from home Before we met I wasn't who you know And I swear it to the end I'll paint a portrait of our dreams above our bed I'm not here without you I'm not up or down I give all I have to you You say you're mine forever But life began the day you said I do My life began the day you